Hi, I'm Steve Wickenton and welcome to Magic Behind the Magic. You know, creating the best show possible is probably the biggest quest for most entertainers. Magicians, jugglers, balloon performers, anybody who creates their own show and then performs it wants to make sure it's the best it can be. But what is the best way to do this? Well, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but it's the way that I do it. And this was taught to me many years ago by a music producer. Since then, I have used it in lots of different areas in my life, not only for performing my shows. It's not a secret. In fact, when I tell you how to do this, you're gonna say, huh, yeah, of course. But knowing something and then putting that information into use are two separate things. So let me tell you first what I do, and then I'll tell you how I do it and how I've been doing it for many years. Okay, here we go. To make your show the best possible show it can be, you need to take the weakest part and make it better. Huh, yeah, of course. See, I told you. Now, when I was first told about this all those years ago, it was in reference to playing live music recorded music, and also being a part of a band. In that situation, it was all about the music, the quality of the songs, the performance skills, the performance, the stage presence, and so many other variables. The producer said to me, find the weakest part of all your areas in the music, whether it's the songwriters, the performers, the band, the lighting guys, whatever it is, find the weakest part and get rid of it. Whoa, get rid of it? Yep, that's what he said. You see, some people say that your show is only as good as its weakest part. I say, that's not true. If your show is really good, except for maybe a few little flat spots, then your show is really good, but it needs some improvement. As long as the majority of your show is really good, then all you need to do are find those weakest points and make them better. So how do you find them? Well, most of the time, you will just know. Things like a lull in the audience's reaction, or maybe in parts your audience becomes distracted or unfocused, or maybe even you become distracted or unfocused. Essentially, a change in the energy that doesn't feel right means that something probably isn't right. So when something like this happens in one of my shows, I make a mental note and then I analyze it after the show. If it's a one-off thing, then maybe it's just a one-off thing. Maybe it was something like I fumbled or there was an unexpected distraction like a balloon popped or a baby started crying. Sometimes it can be an environmental thing, sometimes it can be an awkward volunteer or maybe a disruptive audience member. All these things can be a one-off factor, but they can also be a reoccurring factor. So if it happens more than once, I red flag it and it becomes the weakest point. Now the second part of the process to this is to decide whether you need to fix it or whether you need to remove it. This comes down to your own decision, but there are some factors that you need to consider. Is it worth saving and fixing? Is it easy to fix? How much of an investment has already been put into this part of the show? Is there a quick replacement that you can put in before the next show? It's not an easy decision, but to be honest, I find that most times it is much more rewarding to actually fix this part of the show than to scrap it and replace it with something else. You see, when you replace it with something else, immediately that is the weakest part of your show because it's the newest part of your show. Let's talk about some ways that we can fix it. Sometimes I find that the routines that are the weakest part of your show just need a little bit of a tweak and they actually become the golden part of your show, the most highlighted and memorable part of the whole show. Other times it can take a longer process. I find sometimes just changing a little bit each week and seeing how the audience reacts to it and slowly over a period of time, you build and rebuild and increase the power and the strength of that part of your show. Of course, sometimes you can spend a lot of time and energy on it and it just doesn't get better. There is a point where eventually you sometimes just have to say, that's it, I'm removing this part 
from my show. The thing is you need to experiment and analyze and analyze and experiment. Explore the reasons why it is the weakest part of your show. Sometimes it's as simple as having the wrong facial expression, the wrong prop, the wrong words, or, f or even the wrong backing music. Whatever it is, if your audience struggles to understand any part of your show, then it's probably the weakest point. So find a way to make it clearer, stronger, and of course, more entertaining. Remember, that's what we are paid to do. Thanks again for watching and don't forget that if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Keep improving your shows and growing your business. And of course, leave any comments down below. I will see you next time. Oh yeah, remember, if you haven't subscribed yet to the Magic Behind the Magic newsletter, you can do that just there. And also over there, that one there, that's a video. If you haven't seen that, check that one out. I'm sure it will help. And this up here, that's for subscribing to this channel on YouTube. Remember that, this channel on YouTube, our video, and subscribe to the Magic Behind the Magic newsletter.